distinguished speakers from various organizations. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome again to Jakarta. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Peace be upon us. Let me first of all would like to express our gratitude for your participation in the fifth annual business for the Environment Global Summit that is held here in Jakarta. It is a great honor for us to be the host for this summit because this summit is the world's largest environment conference that brings together leaders from business, government, NGOs, and media to discuss, create, and commit to green solutions for the planet. We realize that this meeting is very important in creating sustainable economic development. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, why we do need a green economy? We do understand that the issue of climate change is a great challenge to all of us. No single country can avoid that challenge. Challenges in the weather, floods, droughts, and forest fire are some of the effects of climate change. From another aspect, there are many poor people who are very sensitive to the unpredictability of the weather and may experience a lack of clean water, poor health, and harvest failure. We all now understand that economic development programs very often ignore the negative impact on the environment that have contributed significantly to global climate change. Most economic development does not take into account the value of the environment and resource degradation. However, in the longer run, sustainable economic growth may not achieve due to imbalances between the value of resource extraction and the value of economic welfare. This kind of economic development policy often undervalues the importance of the environment to our well-being. The environmental degradation caused by excessive use of natural resources has resulted in a high cost of development. Therefore, better natural resource management and low carbon development are considered as important alternative in economic development. Let me emphasize on this occasion that green economy is the solution to this challenge. In general, a green economy is an economic development based on sustainable development to improve our well-being and social equity, while significantly reducing environmental risks and ecological scarcities. A green economy approach can be interpreted as an economic development model, which is not based on excessive exploitation of natural resources. To us, the green economy approach is a win-win solution that balances the need for environmental conservation while at the same time allows the economy to grow. A green economy also allows us to reduce the level of carbon emissions, which is an important part of taming climatic change. A green economy may promote the use of clean energy and low-carbon technologies as substitute for fossil fuels, as well as reduce the carbon footprint in energy production. To promote resource efficiency, 
to reduce forest degradation and deforestation, and to minimize or even prevent biodiversity losses. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, we must realize, however, that to implement green economic development, we shall have to use our creativity and knowledge wisely and gain the support of all the concerned stakeholders. Let me now explain Indonesia's strong commitment toward the creation of a green economy. In 2011, we expect the Indonesian economy to grow by 6.4% annually, and then to pick up its growth rate in the, in, in the upcoming years. And by 2014, the Indonesian economy is expected to grow by at least 7%. These growths will mostly come from investment and exports supported by domestic consumption. In short, the Indonesian economy is in the expansionary pace of its business cycle and is expected to grow healthily over the, for, the, the foreseeable future. However, under the normal development approach, this faster expected economic growth pace shall also have an adverse impact on the environment. Indonesia, however, realized the importance of minimizing the negative impact of growth on the environment. And as such, we have made some strong commitment in this regard. Back to the COP15 in the Copenhagen and G20 in Pittsburgh in 2009, when President Susilo Bambang Yudhoyono announced an emission reduction target of 26% in 2020 by our capability. This is good, but the emission reduction could even reach up to more than 40% if international assistance were to be forthcoming and be part of our development policy. In a developing country such as Indonesia, economic growth is vital to create employment, to reduce poverty, and to increase the people's welfare. However, in order to reduce the negative impact of economic growth in the environment, we have also taken the following measures. One, or first, supporting net zero deforestation by passing out product coming from deforestation of ecologically important forests. This is completely the same with your commit, the business community commitment that, that you are going to declare uh, soon after uh, uh, this. Second, reducing our carbon footprint by investing heavily in energy and resource efficiency program. The third, promoting sustainable business practice throughout supply chains, supporting program of protecting high biodiversity areas with natural carbon storage, investing and promoting sustainable urban planning, land use management, and land use chains. And the, four, uh, the six, promoting sustainable consumption in Indonesia. We realize that climate change is the greatest economic, social, and environmental challenge of our time. It is so great that no one stakeholders alone can solve this problem. To find a workable solution, shall need a much higher level of collaboration, higher than we have ever seen before. I am very pleased that here today, leaders and all stakeholders coming from all over the world have shown their commitment 
to working together to solve the challenge of climate change. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to know that the Indonesian Business Council for Sustainable Development has been launched. The Council, together with the Global Coalition on Sustainable Development, could run their mission to be a catalyst for innovation and sustainable growth in a world where resources are increasingly limited. Finally, I'm, I'm very pleased to meet you all at this important global event which seeks answer to environmental issues. I hope this meeting shall strengthen synergy between or among all stakeholders, including corporate NGOs and government agencies in promoting sustainable business practices to create a better environment for all of us. To end my remark, let me express my thanks to Global Initiative to convene this meeting and to all participants who share to the business declaration on climate change. We also thank the speakers who have contributed their valuable time and have shared their valuable knowledge at this conference. I thank you so much. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.